Airbnb wants to bar landlords from listing a property where a tenant has been evicted for failure to pay rent. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing and Landlord News. All right, so I have an article for you today, and it looks like Airbnb is going into dictating what landlords can and can't do with the properties that are being listed. So before I get into that article, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll keep working to bring you stories about the eviction moratorium and other news that's of interest to landlords. So this article comes from the Washington Post, and it says, Airbnb says it plans to prevent landlords from profiting off pandemic evictions. The short-term rental company says landlords will be barred from listing any property where a tenant has been evicted for failure to pay rent. Airbnb is implementing a new policy to prevent landlords from exploiting its service as a federal moratorium on evictions expires this month. Beginning Tuesday, the company will prohibit landlords from listing properties where they evicted a tenant for failure to pay rent. Airbnb says the policy will be in effect at least until the end of the year to ensure that landlords aren't forcing out renters to profit off short-term rentals during a public health crisis. My goodness, okay? now. Here's the problem with companies like Airbnb. They're trying to dictate on the landlords what they can and can't do with their properties. That's a bunch of crap, okay? Airbnb is a private business, and I'm running a private business as well. And I've heard of, you know, I've heard of people having issues with Airbnb in the past, but my goodness, I am so glad that I am not in the short-term rental business and I'm in the long-term rental business because this is a complete joke. They have no right, none whatsoever. And if they say, hey, we're going to do this, then I would move over and I'd have all my listings on VRBO or one of the other short term rental provider sites. OK, because this is it's just not right. And, you know, I I can't say that this is even a good thing because you what you'll have is a lot of the times you'll have these tenants who weren't paying rent and they were just abusing the system. And now not only could you not evict that tenant for 15 months, but after you finally are able to get rid of that tenant, you can't even use your property in the way you want to use it. You can't even turn it into a short-term rental because this company thinks that you're a bad guy somehow. Well, they're wrong. They're just wrong. The company said it will work with cities to identify properties where renters were pushed out after being protected under the moratorium. Cities around the country are bracing for a potential wave of evictions as the federal moratorium expires June 30th. An estimated 14% of adult renters in the United States are behind on payments amid the economic turmoil brought on by the pandemic and delays in dispersing federal emergency rental aid, according to data from the left-leaning Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. Working with the cities, okay? Trying to, you know, label you as the bad guy for just trying to make money and run your business. I'm so sick of hearing stuff like this, okay? This is more of a very progressive agenda where they're trying to run us out of business. And I can't believe another business is the one trying to do this, okay? They they don't care as long as they make money. They will push all landlords out of business and make us bankrupt. Meanwhile, you know, the hotel industry wants to destroy them. Well, you know what? Here, here's my thing now. I, I, I'm so much pissed at this that, you know, I could, I don't care if the hotel industry wants to drive Airbnb out or if local, uh, local jurisdictions want to push out Airbnbs because, you know, we're, we're getting to the point now where this is war, you know, and they want to attack us. I want to attack them right back. You can either be a solution to challenges that are out there or you can be compounding the challenges. Chris Lahane, Airbnb's head of policy and communications, told the Washington Post, we want to be a solution when it comes to economic opportunity. Uh, You're not going to be a solution when it comes to economic opportunity because you're taking away economic opportunity from landlords. And that's not right. You're sitting here talking out of both sides of your mouth. That's a bunch of crap. Period. California Assemblyman David Chu, the chair of the legislature's Housing and Community Development Committee, urged other short-term rental platforms to consider adopting similar rules. Chu led efforts to regulate Airbnb in San Francisco while president of the Board of Supervisors there, and he has called for the state to end or extend eviction protections. 
Well, two can go to hell, okay? Two, you stay in California. Stay in your lane. Stop trying to regulate what's going on outside of California. And the other short-term rental providers, they need to, to look at the opportunity because they're going to have a lot of landlords who all of a sudden, you know, will jump over and use the other platforms instead of Airbnb because Airbnb is being stupid. Uh, I'm not even going to read the rest of this article. I'm just, I'm just so frustrated at everything that's, you know, in here. It's just, it goes into, we have these private companies, right? And they're teaming up with certain parties in the government in order to pass legislation that they see as progressive. Meanwhile, they're, oh, the only thing they're really concerned about is what benefits themselves. They're not concerned about the other business owners, the property owners, the property rights of the people, okay? They're not even concerned about the tenants. They don't know the reasoning behind the tenant not paying. They just want to throw a blanket protection out here like this and label all landlords as bad guys for wanting to evict a tenant who is not paying from their property. You know, there's a lot of landlords out there who are on the verge of bankruptcy because of all this stuff going on with the eviction moratorium. And now you're telling them, oh, well, we don't want your business here. We, we're going to side with this tenant over here who collected multiple stimulus checks, unemployment the whole time that the uh, pandemic was happening and didn't pay you a dime. And uh, we're going to side with them instead. And you know what? they can go to hell that's all i can say airbnb can go to hell with their stupid rules and just leave us landlords alone